Next, we are going to see about the drilling. Drill is the, drilling is the wall making operation. In drilling, we are having the combined shear and extrusion process are together. Here, the, uh, in drilling operation, tangential force should be max, maximum. The radial force is greater than, uh, then surface finish will be poor. So, obviously, the uh, tangential force should be maximum in case of drilling. In drilling, come under the category of oblique cutting. Drill spindle is made up of taper called most taper or reed taper. And uh, in drilling, we are using the twist drill. Twist drill is a type of the end cutting tool. In uh, the cutting edge of the twist drill can also be called as lips. The cutting edge of the twist drill can be termed as a lips. So drills are usually made up of high speed steel. Flat drill nowadays it is not in use. It is obsolete in modern drilling operation because it is not suitable for drilling deep, deep hole. For uh, producing the deep hole, this type of drill cannot be used. In deep hole drilling, the work is usually rotated while the drill is feed into work. Drill is uh, used to feed into work and uh, usually the work is rotated in deep hole drilling machine. Slate footed drill can be used for drilling brass, copper or soft material. So the straight fluted drill, uh, usually the flutes are uh, spiraled, but in some cases straight fluted drill is there, it, which may be useful for drilling brass, copper or soft material. In parallel shank twist drill, the drill has zero rake angle and the drift, there is a tool called drift. It, it is a tool which is used to withdraw the drill from the sleeve. We are uh, placing the drift and beating uh, the hammer to release the drill bit. And uh, drill bit is made up of uh, helical grooves. That helical grooves can be called as flutes that is used for remove the chips. The next thing we are having the helical grooves on the drill bits, which are which can be called as flutes, which is useful to remove the chips. Then we have to know the flute. Flute is the groove in the body of the drill, which provide the lip to form the cutting edge and chips to escape and curl the chip and the cutting fluid supply. So these are the different purpose uh, the flute can be used. Flute is a groove uh, provided on the drill and it, it, is, it is useful for to form the cutting edge and uh, to escape the chips, to curl the chips and cutting fluid supplied. The next part of the drill bit is tang, which is at the end of the drill bit. So it may be here like that. It prevent the drill from slipping. When it rotate, the drill is having the ability to slip. So to prevent that, we are providing the tang. It ensures the positive drive. And uh, usually it has that tapper shank drill, we are having that tang. Next, we are having the rack and pinion mechanism. It is used to up and down motion of the spindle. Spindle, when, the, when it rotate, it will be go upward and when it is rotate down, it will come downward. That, that can be achieved by rack and pinion mechanism. And the quill, in a drilling, we are forming the, using the quill. By using the quill, keyway can be produced. By using the quill, keyway can be produced. So cutting speed of the drill depends on the work material, tool material and surface finish. When work is copper, tool is high speed drill, we can go for 18 to 30 meter per minute. For mild steel, HSR drill, we can go for 24 to 45 meter per minute. For aluminium, HSR drill, we can go for 60 to 90 meter per minute. Now we are going to see about the twist drill. Twist drill is usually made up of high speed steel and uh, carbon steel. It can be specified with the help of dia, material or shank. Uh, it can be defined. Dapper shank is used for general purpose. And uh, wherever uh, straight shank drill is used for only for small hole diameter. And uh, in some cases extra length drill can be used. That is used for extreme depth and inaccessible places can be reached by using the extra length drill. IX helix drill is used for deep hole drilling. The two for uh, aluminium, magnesium, copper, these are all ductile material and heavy feed can be applied. Low helix drill can be used for thin sheet uh, for brass and here also heavy feed can be applied. Core drill also called as multi flute drill because it consists of three to four fluted flutes. It is used for enlarging the previously drilled hole or previously the holes can be produced by using the in the casting. Uh, the casting contains a hole 
which can be drilled by the core drill. It is used for, it is used to finish the hole inferior to reamer. So in reamer is used for finishing the hole, but uh, the quality wise uh, core drill can also be used for uh, finishing, but which should be inferior to the reamer. And we are having strep drill, strep drill can be used for two or more diameter along its length, uh, can be produced simultaneously, but it needs resharpening, strep drill needs resharpening. We are having subland drill, subland drill also called as dual cut drill. It has a two distinct land, but the subland drill, no need of resharpening is there in subland drill. And the next thing is tungsten carbide tipped drill bit. Uh, which is used to drill glass, slate, ceramics and a single fluid drill is used to cut the soft material and uh, we are having one more drill, straight fluted drill. Next we are going to see about the types of drilling machine. Types of drilling machine we are having uh, deep hole drilling machine which can be used to make rifle, crankshaft and long shaft. And we are having portable drilling machine. And the portable drilling machine can be specified with the help of maximum diameter it can be old. Sensitive drilling machine is used only for small hole and high speed. Upright drilling machine can be used for useful for medium sized work piece. Mostly in uh, workshop we can observe the radial type drilling machine in which arms swing around the vertical column which can be used for large and heavy work piece. Next we are having the gang drilling machine which, which is useful for mass production. It consists of 4 to 6 spindles. Uh, work piece requires several operations at a time. It can be used. Several operation uh, the gang drilling machine can be used. Multi spindle drilling machine it can be useful for tractor engine housing. You are drilling a number of holes simultaneously. Multi spindle drilling the hole simultaneously. Here several operation. It is not simultaneously. Gang drilling uh, the operation cannot be done in uh, simultaneously, but several operations can be done. Multi spindle, all the operation can be done at simultaneously. Ultrasonic drilling can be useful for uh, dr drilling the 1 mm dia in glass sheet. Even we can brittle for brittle material, we can make the drilling by using the ultrasonic drilling. We are going to see the different types of drill bits. Uh, the first one is core drill. Core drill is used to drill the and enlarge the already existing hole in casting. In casting, the holes can be produced by the help of a core. Uh, after that, uh, when we get into machining, by using the core drill, the holes should be enlarged. That type of uh, drill is called as core drill. And reamer to improve the surface finish and dimensional accuracy of the already drilled hole, the reamer can be used. And counter bore drill, counter bore drill, it is used to enlarge the hole to a certain depth so as to accommodate the bolt of the head of the screw. For example, if, if it is like this and uh, this can be enlarged like this. So it is used to accommodate the hole. So in this way, so it can be happened by using the counter bore drill. Tab drill is used to dr drill a hole before making a internal thread to for make the before making the internal thread uh, we have to drill with the help of a tab drill these are the different types of operation hole making operations uh, and uh, and it application first of all we are going to see about the tapping tapping is the operation of cutting internal thread reaming reaming is the operation in which sizing and finishing the hole can be achieved counter boring we are enlarging the end of the hole uh, uh, enlarging the hole to the entire extent is called as if the hole is like this we are uh, enlarging the hole for the entire extent it is called as boring but up to certain extent it is it is called as counter boring when you enlarge the hole up to certain extent so it is not for the entire year the hole is enlarged entirely it is called as boring here it is enlarged up to certain extent it is called as counter boring. Counter sinking means we are enlarging the hole conically up to the certain extent. We are enlarging the hole conically up to certain extent. This type of operation is called as counter sinking. Spot pacing means smoothing and squaring the surface of the hole for proper seating is called as spot pacing. Boring is the enlarge of the hole already we we mentioned that and the BTA tool, BTA tool means boring trepanning association tool 
along with the gun drill is it is used for a large making large diameter holes with the help of uh, trepanning tool trepanning tool is a single point cutting tool which is used to make the large diameter hole tapping we already know that it is used for cutting internal threads and uh, we should remember that hole drilled for trapping hole drilled for tapping should be smaller than the tap size how much smaller it should be smaller by twice the depth of thread so we are having some depth of thread and the hole drilled for trapping should be smaller than the tap size that by twice the depth of thread uh, we already know that drilling is the process of producing cylindrical holes by rotating fluted cutting tool both full length and the through hole center can be produced reaming uh, sizing and finishing of the hole and the spot spacing smoothing and squaring the surface around the hole for proper seating and we are having lapping operation lapping is the finishing process in which is carried out inside the hole by using the loose abrasive dust particles uh, which is dipped in the cotton cloth and uh, we are having bta tool and gun drill which is used for uh, making large diameter hole and boring and uh, bta can be called as boring and trepanning association tool trepanning is the operation of producing a hole by removing the metal along the circumference of the hollow cutting tool along the circumference of the hollow cutting tool we are removing the metal metal that type of operation is called as trepanning now we are going to see about the various types of drilling machine the first one is portable drilling machine the next one is sensitive drilling machine uh, radial drilling machine gang drilling machine multi spindle drilling machine and deep hole drilling machine these are the different types of the drilling machine uh, and uh, we are going to calculate the cutting speed or peripheral speed by using the formula v equal to pi dn it unit is meter per minute where d is the diameter of drill bit and n is the rotational speed of the drill when we specify the feed per uh, feed in terms of mm per revolution if feed per mm per minute has to be calculated that can be called as a feed velocity feed velocity can be obtained by feed into rpm where feed is the mm per revolution rpm is millimeter uh, revolution per minute we can get a revolution revolution get strike out we can get a mm per minute and the machining time or drilling time can be calculated by distance tool travel by feed into rpm that is equal to l by fn and the metal removal rate can be calculated by mrr equal to pi before d square into f into n so these three formulas uh, velocity and feed velocity and uh, machining time and mrr can be asked repeatedly in the competitive exams now we are going to de uh, deal with the helix angle helix angle is the equivalent angle uh, as a top break angle in single pointing cutting tool we are having break angle so in drill bit uh, this helix angle is equivalent to that of a uh, break angle it is angle between the leading edge of the land and the plane having the axis of the drill it is angle between the leading edge of the land and the plane having the axis of drill it is usually 30 degree normally normal value chisel edge angle it is one it varies from 120 to 135 degree it is angle between the chisel edge uh, and a lip viewed from the land lip viewed from the end of the drill it is angle between the chisel edge and a lip viewed from the end of the drill so it va values varies from 120 to 135 degree and we are having lip clearance angle it varies from 12 to 15 degree it is the angle between the flank and the plane right angle to the drill axis it is angle between the flank and the plane right angle to the drill axis so this flank is nothing but the cutting edge of the standard is called as flank next we are having lip angle lip angle is it varies from 60 degree to 80 degree it is uh, for twist drill it is the edge formed by the intersection of the face and flank it is the edge formed between the angle formed between the edge angle formed by the edge intersection of face and flank so drill will not cut when lip angle is zero and we are having drill point outside the drill axis and the hole will become too large when the drill has a different length cutting edge drill hole will be circular drill breaks on when working on soft and tough material it shows that insufficient supply of the coolant when a drill bit is a blunt when drill bit is the blunt, the drill does not cut. We are going to see about the point angle and helix angle. The point angle is the angle between the two lips projected upon the plane parallel to the drill axis and parallel to the cutting lips. 
So we are measuring the angle between the two leaves projected upon the plane parallel to the drill axis. That plane should be parallel to the drill axis and uh, parallel to the cutting leaves. So that is the thing. Point of the point angle of the soft material is decreased. So for soft material, point angle is lesser. For hard material, the point angle will be greater. And uh, we should have no have a clear idea about the point angle. For marble, it is 80 degree. For bakelite and plastic, it is 90 degree. For stainless steel and hard nickel alloy, it is 135. For soft material, it is uh, less than 118. For soft material, it is less than 118 degree. And odd material, it is greater than 118 degree. So, this is the, about the point angle. And the next angle is helix angle. Helix angle is the angle between the leading edge. That means land and the plane having the axis of drill. So, it is equivalent to the rake angle of the single point cutting tool. So, for uh, helix angle, the work material and helix angle, the ferrous material, it is usually 30 degree. For fast helix drill, the angle will be somewhat higher, 35 degree. For harder material, the helix angle will be 10 to 13 degree. For brass, bronze, bakelite, it will be low. And aluminium, zinc, magnesium, it will be high. Because to clear the chips, for deep hole drilling also, we have to select high helix angle. So, uh, as I always remember, for A, it is helix angle is high, for B, it is low.